Hey y'all, this is Dino. Welcome to my channel. Okay y'all, I am back with my next project and I am going to be making a paper bag album. These are the bags that I use. They're by Paper Studio. I probably got them for $1.50, not $2.99. I probably got them half price. And this is the paper collection that I'll be using for this project. It's by Pebbles and Big Top Dreams. I got it at Tuesday morning. So as you kind of see, it's really fun, festive, just different colors. Just had a great time with it. And I'm not going to show you the album. I do have it completed. I'm not going to show you the album. Hopefully you'll watch the process and be able to um, see it at the end of my video. Um, but anyway, I had a great time making this. Now, um, I happened to be um, surfing on Pinterest the other day. And this showed up in my Pinterest feed. And um, the idea um, behind this was from Helen Griffin. I believe she's here on YouTube. So I watched her video and I loved how she how she constructed this album. Now I have different dimensions than she did, but I but the theory of how she put it together, like putting in the pages on and so forth, um, I learned it from her video. So I was really inspired to make this uh, from her. Um, also to the hint, the the binding that I used on here that when I will reference that I'm um, in my video but I did do the stack the deck video um, um the stack the deck um, system and it's by Laura Dennison so if you'd like to check her out she's here on YouTube as well um, so anyway let's just get on with the video I hope you enjoy it Okay, so for my cover, you're going to need two pieces of chipboard. My measure seven and a half by five, and then one and a half by seven and a half. Um, I don't have any any twelve by twelve white card stock, so I'm going to use my eight and a half by eleven and make it work. Um, but I do need to join two pieces together to make it long enough. It's just not going to give me that one inch gusset on the top and bottom, but I'm going to make it work. I think it'll be fine. Okay, that's not too bad. I gotta get my tape over here. Get this pulled apart. Press it down really well. And now you're just gonna position your pieces of chipboard on your on your cover here or on the cover paper. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna score myself a one inch line just so I have at least an inch on the end. I'm not gonna have an inch on the, um, the bottom and the top, but I'm gonna do the inch. I'm gonna do the inch over here. Hope everybody is having a good day today. I went to the doctor yesterday for this horrid cough that I have, and yeah, I got myself some antibiotics for this nate for this nose stuff. Okay, so as you see here, I don't have but like about a half an inch on the top and bottom, but I'm gonna make it work because I'm gonna cover the inside anyway. So I just need that line just so I can um, have a good place to go ahead and line this up. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use some of my. Uh, my tape. Get this down the best that I can. for right over here. I think I'm just gonna make it. And let's get this one down. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all filled off. And then I'm going to go ahead and get tape on the other two pieces as well. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of 
do the best I can, line it up where I have a little bit. If you kind of fold it up too, it kind of tells you exactly maybe the best way to line it up. At least it does for me. And it'll be good enough. Okay, I'm going to get the other two pieces taped and down, and I'll show you how to finish this base cover up. Okay, so I got it adhered down to my paper, and I'm just going to get this end cut off. Make sure you, you get this pressed down really, really well. And I'm going to get cut this off at about an inch, and um, yeah, I'm just going to use my scissors, and I'm going to kind of eyeball it. Might be a little bit more than an inch, but that's okay. It's underneath. It's going to be just fine. Okay. And if you've seen any of the videos before, you know we have to put tape around the edges. I'm going to tape really good on the edges here because I add only a shorter pieces of the white paper. I am going to use my my uh, good score tape. You can tape on top of this, or you can tape along the edge. Down the edge. Let's add some on the top, just since it's so small. Press it down really well, and then get yourself a piece going along the edge of the bottom too. If it was an inch, if I had an inch, I'd probably do it just around the, the paper perimeter, not on top of the chipboard, but it's okay. I'm just going to keep on going all the way around. down okay so let's go ahead and make sure we got the tape pressed down real well Go ahead, let's miter our corners. Make sure you leave a, make sure you leave a little bit on that corner right there. Don't cut down into where the the chipboard is. You don't want it to show. Put these other slides. Okay. One more. like this okay so now let's go ahead and get this kind of folded make it a little easier I'm gonna go ahead and get my almost forgot this extra piece I put on here let's go ahead and peel it all off I need to pull out my little poker thing because it's hard to do this. Last night I broke off my thumbnail. It's so short now. I need to bring that out one of these days. So yesterday I stayed home a lot because I was coughing quite a bit and and um okay. I'm going to get this all pushed over. But I stayed home. 
And I was gonna make some steak and mushrooms and onions for my husband and I for dinner. Let me get this over. And at four o'clock, I realized my steak that I was thawing out was not completely thawed. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna order Olive Garden. You know, we have not been back to eat there since COVID and, and we don't really go there a whole lot. And I'm like, you know, that sounds so good. So at 4.20, I went and I ordered our food. And I told them I'll be there at 5.15 to pick it up. They said, no problem. I get there about 10 after 5. And guess what? They did not have the food. They didn't even have record of my order. Then they came out and said, is your name Christina? I said, no, my name is Dina. I said, y'all certainly have already billed my card for it. So they finally said that they found it and that there was a mess up in their kitchen. I waited... Well, I ordered at 420. I did not get my food till five minutes to six. I was like, I could not believe how long it actually took just to get my food. And um, I told the I told the guy, is there some kind of incentive for sitting out here this long waiting on your food? I would have left if they wouldn't have already billed my card. And uh, so he said, let me get the manager. The manager came out and I said, sir, I ordered this. I ordered this at 4.20. He goes, you do it online or on the phone? I said, on the phone. And he said, okay. Here, look at that. That folded really nicely. I left a little bit more of a gap in between there. And it actually folded really nicely. So anyway, so the guy said, the guy said, well, hold on. Let me see your receipt. Do you have a receipt? I said, they didn't give me a receipt. I said, it's just come out of on my card. So he said, will you hold on? He called, he got the receipt and everything, got information from the receipt. And he was like, he was like, don't worry, we're going to reverse this. He ended up giving me all the food for free. And then it's a good thing he did. Because when I got home, my husband's eggplant Parmesan, actually, the eggplant, they had cooked it so it was so hard. He could like use it like a disc, <laughs> bang it on something. And I'm like, well, I can't call and complain. They're already giving it to us for free. But anyway, they just must have been just having a bad off day is what they must have been doing. <sighs> Lesson learned. Just cook your own food. That's what I'm thinking. I, th I told my husband, the only food that's been good lately eating out is um, Taco Casa. Mmm, it's so good. And Chick-fil-A. It's the only thing that's good. <laughs> he started laughing. But anyway, we still ate it. And yeah, it wasn't the greatest, but that's okay. Okay, so I got my cover all ready. Look at that. It's looking good. And um, I think I left about an eighth of an inch in between each one. And I really kind of, I like having that little bit extra there. And it makes my thing not so tight. So let's go ahead and keep working on my cover here. Okay, for the inside of my cover, I've gone ahead and cut a piece of paper that measures the, the length of the inside of here. Um, all I do is I take it and I measure it off, make a mark, and I cut it. So I've already added some um, tape on here. I was going to glue it. I pulled it up because I didn't like the way the glue is. So I've added adhesive, or I've added the tape. So I'm just going to do it. I want to do it this way. I just want to make sure I get this good knit here down. Thought I was going to ruin it for a second when I tried it out. I'm going to try to just get this all lined up the best that I can by leaving only a little bit of that tape exposed underneath there. I'm able to try to make sure I have a little room here. Once I have it where I think it needs to go, I'm just going to go ahead and pull my tape off. And now I've got it. Now I've got to get all the other tape from underneath. Okay, so I've got it all adhered down. And get this pressed down really, really well. And then I'm going to gently kind of fold. And make sure that I get this down. I'm gonna gently fold. Don't want no buckling. And there we go. Got my inside done. Looks really good. I like it. 
Okay, so for the binding, I am doing the Stack the Death Deck Method by Laura Dennison. Um, you can check her out here on YouTube. Plainly, whatever, I mean, easily, whatever you had to do. I mean, I just measured these, let me see the length, seven inches, because my, my album is seven inches, but I made this seven and a half. So it's going to fit right down there with like a quarter inch on each end. So I did seven inches and the first, the, the wider one, you cut it at um, two and a quarter. The second one, you cut it at one and three fourths. And the center one is one and a quarter. You score a half an inch on each side. You just half an inch, flip it, half an inch. And that's how you got this. And then you adhere the three of them together. I've gone ahead and I've added he um, tape adhesive all over. So I'll be able to attach my pages once it's time. And let's go ahead and get this down as well. So I'm going to try to see if I can eyeball this to get it as evenly as I can. And you can even, if you want to, um, make it easier on yourself. This is just something I've kind of thought of doing. So I'm just going to kind of kind of see where the best place for me to place these. That way then I know kind of where I'm lining them up at. So, it's kind of like, kind of like that. Just want to make sure. That way when I get this adhered down, I'm kind of in the same vicinity. Okay, here it goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my adhesive or my tape off. And I'm gonna go ahead and add. It's right in the center. Okay, I think I need to Bring it up just a little. And that doesn't look too bad. Let's get this down. Got glue on my fingers. Let's get this down really well. I have a little extra glue right here, and so it kind of sticking out, but it's okay. Pages are going to cover it. Kind of work them. I have it, I think, a little bit more toward this side than I do the back, but that's okay. I'm not going to try to rip it up. Just I'm going to keep it just like this. It's going to be fine. So let's gently fold. Everything is still looking good. You can see where that is. Okay, I'm loving the way this is turning out so far. Okay, so let's work on our pages. I've already got six of them already completed, ready to go, and already matted. Um, so let's go ahead and let's get this one. Let's make one on camera. So I am using these white bags, and these are from Hobby Lobby, and they're sacks and things. So for for the for the bottom of your bag. You want to cut off a little sliver right here because we're going to use it um, as like a little pocket. So open this up, kind of slice off a little sliver off the bottom here. That way then we have it just like an opening. And then the bags are too tall. And so my bags that I've already prepared are seven inches. So I'm going to cut this one at seven inches just like this, okay? Now, what the first thing that you need to do is, you know, we got this right here. It's going to be going up like this, and it's going to make a pocket, okay? It's going to see we got a little pocket in there. So we're going to have to do some gluing down so we can utilize this part as the pocket. So I'm going to use my R glitter glue and get some of these pieces, these parts glued down. You don't have to glue this top part if you don't want, but I kind of like to.
And then if you look up inside, you've got these parts and everything's going to kind of get hung. So I put a little bit of glue up in here and on this side because then when you slip something down in there, you don't want it to get hung. And that way then you still have this opening right here. Okay. And that's all you do. Then what you're going to do is you're going to cut yourself some paper and let me see if I've got this good scrap right here and I do just kind of kind of measure off and cut this and I'm cutting this one I know I'm kind of out of frame a little bit there I am cutting this one it is about, I don't know, four and five eighths maybe. Just measure it up against your bag. Everybody's is going to be different. And let me see if I can use one side of this for the other side. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. That way I can just cut one piece. So this is for the back. And I'm going to cut this right here. This one is going to be for the back. Now on my other bags, I actually matted them in different prints. But this is just to kind of show you what to do. This piece right here, um, you can have it where it's going to stick down inside. Because you're also, and what I neglect to tell you, you're also going to need to glue this down as well. I knew I missed a step. So it's like this now. Okay. Make sure you get that glued down. Then this piece, you're going to stick it down inside there. And if it doesn't go all the way to the bottom, it's okay. And it's going to go like this, just right down inside. This other piece is gonna go over here, just like this. And then you're going to also cut a piece here for the bottom. Let's see if I got a scrap over here. That's not the bottom. Let's see if I got some yellow. Um, yeah, I can use this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so let me go ahead and cut this down so I can glue this on just to show you guys what to do. Whenever I saw this video on YouTube, and granted I have made this my own with my own dimensions. I've used some of the same techniques as Helen on her channel. Um, but um, yeah, I, was, I, I watched it. It was just a wonderful, wonderful tutorial. So I really appreciate it. Um, Helen for making the video and um, yeah. okay so this piece is gonna go here and my bags are also a different size and of course and okay, I'm gonna slip this down in there you don't have to put the tape all the way down in there like I just did but if you did it's okay I'm just gonna get this down in here the best I can just bear with me one sec, y'all. There we go. Okay, so I've got it slipped down in the bag. I'm going to make sure it's lined up the best I can up here at the top. Press that down. This piece is going to go here. Then this piece is going to go on the back. Put this down. Just like this. So that's how you do it. And then you take a, I took a half inch. Just kind of eyeballed it just so I can make a little slit 
our little cutout here so I can see what's down inside. Just kind of eyeball it in the center. And then we have that. And that's how you do, that's how you get um, your pages ready. Okay, so I'm gonna put that one aside. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our pages and put in the book. And so the fun part is deciding which order you want these to go in. I think that I like this one with the tints on it. So I think I'll put that one first. No, actually, yeah, I think I'll do that one first. And then I think that I'll just, um, I don't wanna put this one next to that one. And I think I'll do this one. And then let's go with maybe this one. And we'll go here, here, and here. Okay, so I think that will work. Okay, so I think that the best way to do this is to put the back page on first and work your way forward. That's usually what I do. Um, what you're going to be doing is this little gusset that's over here. It's going to be sliding down over over the little hinge of the little thing that you're gonna attach this to. Make sure you don't put it right on that score line. Make sure you see the score line right, you still see it just a little bit. That way your pages will still move okay. So just a tiny bit, just like that, okay? So I think that the best thing to do is to go ahead and pull off I'm gonna pull off this tape on here first. That way, since I'm looking at it kind of backward and I know that there's a glare, I'm sorry. I'll try to do this the best I can. Don't wanna press down. You wanna make sure you're getting these all in order. Line them up the best that you can. And can still see a little bit of that score line. Looks like it's gonna be even. Press this down, hold this in place, and peel it off. And then you're gonna, what you're gonna do is lift this up and you're gonna peel off the tape on the other side. off the tape and then just kind of line this up and press it down. Looks good. Looks real good. Let's do all the other pages. You can see how it lays good too. Okay. I've got a little bit of tape right up in here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'll see what I can do about that. Okay, so now we've got the next one. I'm gonna peel this off just a little bit. Open this up. Because remember, the, this part is glued down. So all you have is one part of the gusset of the bag. Okay. I'm gonna use the bag behind it to kind of Give it a good guide, make sure it's even. Press it down, hold it in place. And there we go. Those look pretty even. Let's get this back part off. Just like that, okay. Let's go ahead and the next one. Hmm. Yeah, I better do that one. I thought, oh, I have a yellow by a yellow, but it's okay. Pull it up a little bit. Open this up. This one doesn't want to go as nice and smooth like the other ones. I'm going to bring these up, make sure I have them lined up. I'm going to go down just so I can see just that score line. Press it down. 
pull this pull this off. Let's get the back of this one. Okay, I've got three more. I'm gonna get those done and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I got all my pages adhered into the book. They look great. Look at this. How fun is this? Just beautiful. How fun is that? Now let's work on our cover, okay? I have already gone ahead and I have cut my, my cover and my spine pieces. And I'm going to do a ribbon enclosure on this. And let me go ahead and give you the dimensions of the cover pieces. This is out of the collection I'm using. Um, my cover, my back and front measures four and three fourths by seven and a quarter. My spine piece is going to be one and four eighths by seven and a quarter. Um, I just wanted it to be where it just covered most of the spine on this one, just like this. Okay, but before I put those on, let's go ahead and we're going to add, I'm going to add a ribbon enclosure on this one. Just so I think it would make it pretty and this is a very fun, happy book. And so, yeah, I think it'll be good. Okay, so I've gone ahead and just cut myself a piece of ribbon. This is probably... It's probably about three quarters of an inch wide and you're just going to kind of measure around I've got a piece that's way too long right now but it's better to have too much right now than not enough that way and I don't want it where my pages are going to be like so squished I want it to still kind of keep its form because once I decorate it and add things inside I want it to be able to you know not not be feel like it has to be smushed down so I think that this is going to be a good this is going to be a good good length I'm not going to trim it off until the very end until I'm ready to be done with my book but all you're going to do is kind of measure it around and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some glue you can use some tape whatever you want and I'm just going to get this adhered down if you'll hear any music, my husband's back out in the garage working on his Mustang again. I think it's just so relaxing for him. Just like this is relaxing for me to come in here and just work, create. Okay, so I've got that. So make sure I try to get it even. I got to look at it. And then I'm going to put some glue over here on this on this spine just to hold it in place right, there we go looking good Let me get my little pin back on my uh, on my glue Thanks to Lori, haven't lost my pen yet. Okay, so now that I've got that on, we're gonna make sure that gets dried really well. Let's go ahead and we're gonna adhere this on to the front and back. I love the colors, that's just beautiful. Okay, and you notice I'm not doing all this pink. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and for, the, for this, I'm gonna use my tape runner. If you wanna use um, double-sided tape where you peel it off. I think that this is gonna work just fine, unless I run out of tape. Hopefully I don't. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one. A tape runner, tape gun here. I have my refills for these things. I just have to take time to Put it on. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this on. Okay. There you go. Look at that. How pretty that is. Okay, got some adhesive on the back piece. Make sure you get enough glue, like right under here on the edge. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more before I stick this back piece on, cause it's kind of sticking up. That way nothing pulls up once you get everything going. 
If you want to put glue on this instead of tape runner tape, you can do that too. But I just want to make sure it's good and adhered down on the edge there. Let's go ahead and get this down. Uh -oh, got a little crooked. Come on, don't tear on me. Okay, that was a quick save, friends. Since I'm not going to wrap the spine on this particular one, I want to make sure this is as straight as I can get it. Okay. Now let's add the spine piece. It's going to go right here. I love it that my husband, when he goes out in the garage to work on his car, it's just like literally his happy place. And I just love it when I hear him out there. He Sometimes I'll go out there and he's just singing away. It's just, it just makes me happy that, that he's just... And it has a downtime and it's his happy time, you know? Okay, so let's get this on. Try to center it up. And then like that. Okay, so there is my covers on there. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decorate everything and I will come back and the last clip of this video will be of how I've decorated it and what it looks like. I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far and I'll be back soon. Okay y'all, so I am back and I've decorated it. Not like totally, totally, but I think it's looking pretty good. I would uh, give it to someone this way. Okay, so let me just show you what I did. And look at this. I want to show y'all. Look how thick it ended up being. And it's just perfect with the spine. Okay, so what I did, of course, is you saw um, how I put the decorative paper on here. And I added the ribbon enclosure. Um, uh, what I did is this is a cut apart that was in the collection that I'm using. And um, I also took some glitter paper that I had and I used one of my dies. And this is the die I'm using, that I use. It's one of my favorite flower dies that I have. And I cut out the flowers and I layered it up and just put random flowers on here because it had a flower um, kind of front. And, and they're kind of, I used glitter paper for them. And this is just, of course, a cut apart layered up with a little, couple little gems. And as you see, there's the back. How cute did this turn out? Oh my goodness. Now, the, the paper, of course, that I showed you at the beginning of the video is a, like a circus theme. And so I just kind of took a little bit of everything out of this and just made it memories and made it just kind of fun and festive and so forth. Okay, so on the front and the back, I did put a corner pocket, like a, a diagonal pocket, and I added a photo mat here. And the flowers here, or the balloons, just came off of some sticker sheet that I had, and I just added the memories. It's just an extra little flower that I had punched out. And on this side, here's the pocket. And this is a cut apart in the collection, and I just thought it was just cute. It didn't just have to do with just the circus. Um, but just it's just kind of fun and festive and this is a little tiny flower uh, bow that I had in my in my stash that um, someone I think had sent me um, on this side I added a photo mat and I added this cute little hot air balloon it was kind of fun and festive and the top as you see here I put they're four and a quarter by six um, I just put colored paper in a paper or cardstock in there that way then whoever I end up gifting this to, they can decorate those up and put pictures on them or do what they want to do. On this one, of course, here's the pocket and I here's another cut apart. Found this one in the collection, so celebrate. Now the little trim that I have here, here's what it looks like. And it actually came off the cards and envelopes that I have that have the scallop edges and I just cut it and I put it along the edge 
this one right here, they can just add something on there. Of course, it's got the paper. I put blue in each one. Um, this one I just kind of left plain because I just love the paper and I added a cute little bow. And here's a hello. And this right here, another photo mat. And since it was like the circus theme, I added a little ribbon there. And here we go. We got this, the show must go on. And these are all, like I said, cut aparts that came in the collection. Got, of course, on every one of these, I put this scallop. Another photo mat in here. I put this hello up here. And this came from um, just a sticker sheet that I have. I can't even, um, I think I got it at maybe um, Hobby Lobby or something. And here I added another one of my glittery flowers and I added a button in the center. And here we go, I put this. As you see here, the papers do not match, but they're all in the collection and I'm good with that. Got another photo mat here. Of course, in each one of these, you got the blue pull out and I just put a little heart right there. Um, I added a little clown on here because this was the circus tent. And I put life is a circus. And then back here, another photo mat and I added this cute little camera on here. Yeah, I think it's pretty cute. And then back here, another photo mat. I think I need to put a little bit of something right here and I probably will do that before I give it away. Um, I told my sister last night I, when I started thinking of this, I told her, I said, yeah, I'm going to make an album out of paper bags. And she's like, what? I just don't think they understand, my friends. I only, uh, you know, I just don't think. She, I think that she needs to watch my videos more often. She'll know what to do. You know, I like to put something encouraging. I think what I'm going to do is, I in my stuff here, it might not even go with the theme, but I think I am going to put something encouraging um, because I just think that right now, we all have to just trust in the Lord. We do, we do, we do. Anyway, yeah, let's see what else I got here. We can have this on here. Just something fun. I love these little things. I think I got them at Tuesday morning before. Those are very cute. So I think I'll just leave it simple just like that. And um, it's nice having all these little ephemeras all here up on my desk. That way I'm able to get to them and all that. And that's what it looks like. It turned out wonderfully. And this was a very time consuming pro uh, project, but it was so much fun. My husband, he told me, you're still working on that? I'm like, yeah. He, I said, I don't really think that they understand um, the amount of work that goes in these projects for us. Um, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm still working on it. I said, really, the video might be 40 minutes long, but really, it takes several hours to really make it. And um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for sticking with me until this until the end and i really appreciate it and you have a wonderful wonderful day bye y'all